Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace the crank position sensor on a Dodge V8 Magnum series engine. I have a brand new Mopar sensor here in the box. If you guys are aware, a lot of people have issues with aftermarket sensors. I know there is a lot of things that you can go aftermarket, but apparently this is not the place to do it because people have gone through a bunch of aftermarket sensors. So I have a spare engine on the stand here. So this will illustrate very uh, easily where it's located. So on your passenger side valve cover, it is pretty much directly below it. So passenger side head, here is the sensor. You're gonna have two 13 mil or half inch uh, head bolts and you're gonna have to get down through here. So you can access it from the top and then your transmission bolts on here. So you most likely will have a dipstick tube for your transmission coming right in and around here. So you kinda have to feed it in through there. But this is the sensor, this is an old one. I have the vehicle outside. We're gonna go ahead, we'll grab a couple tools out of here and we will grab this sensor and we'll get to work. Real quick, as far as tools, this is what I found works the best. I have almost a one foot extension on a quarter inch ratchet with a 13 mil socket. This stuff is small and it gets into the area and it gives you enough torque to do what you gotta do. So this is what I found works best for this. Let's get outside. Here we are, you guys. This example is a 99 Dodge Dakota RT with the V8 5.9 liter. And you're gonna need to know two things. So you're gonna see a couple clips and I don't have my intake on. So it's gonna be a little bit easier. You guys can take yours off or whatever setup you have. You're gonna see next to your distributor, two clips. So you're gonna see a gray one, which you can see right there. And then you're gonna see a black clip. The black clip is gonna be the one you want. This one leads down to your crank position sensor. The other one goes to your cam position sensor. So the sensor that's inside your distributor. So we'll disconnect the black one from over here. We'll separate the two. There you go, just squeeze it and your wire's free. And now we will get at our crank position sensor, which like I was mentioning is right down here. So there's a little bit of stuff in the way, but it's not too bad, honestly, you guys, just two bolts. Let's get it out of there. So here is the way that I found is easiest to get to. Use your quarter inch stuff and you can just go straight down here. There's one bolt. The second bolt, if you're using a socket, you'll find the upper bolt. That one is very tight between the bolt and the head. So your socket might get bound up a little bit, but it will come out. That's why I like to use these uh, quarter inch drive stuff, just a little bit thinner. Here we go. We got the second bolt out and now we can get the sensor out. So a sensor, you might have to manipulate it a little bit just around your dipstick, but it will rotate out. So what I like to do is pull your wire across so that your wire isn't stuck on anything. So bring it across and you can bring it out so you can visibly have it over here and then now that your wires on this side you can just finagle it you're gonna have to do a bit of a rotation to get it out you'll see what I mean because you're gonna end up hitting the dipstick tube a little bit with the sensor and then out she comes so here's the old one let me show you the new one so here's our brand new Mopar sensor I'll link this in the description below for you guys it was about $80 with shipping, so it wasn't too, too bad. And there we go. So a brand new crank position sensor from Mopar. So uh, this should keep us reliable. So one of the things, if you guys are probably replacing this, you guys already know that if this sensor fails, your engine can completely die out. So this is definitely not somewhere you want to cheap out on. So let's get this brand new sensor in there. Okay, here we go, the reverse. So we'll get this sensor in here this way. And then we'll put in our two bolts. So we'll get them just started by hand first and then we can move to the ratchet. All right, so our two bolts are tight. Now we can route our sensor wire back over towards the distributor. So now we can plug our clip back in with our wire over here. 
And once you hear the click, you're all done. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or informative, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on that bell next to it so you're notified of all the latest videos. We do a lot of repairs and performance related mods on this channel, so stick around. Check out some of the other videos that are already on the channel. We'll see you on the next one.